Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at my modded PS Vita that I did the other day. Sorry I haven't got the video out any sooner and um, it was literally because I've just been sorting it out really and just making sure that I had enough on there to make sure that I could show you guys exactly what the potential is of your PS Vita. Granted I started doing mods on the handhelds. I started with the PSP. If you go back through my video list, guys, you'll you'll see that I modded the PSP to great success. Really loved it. It was a long, it was definitely long overdue. Then I took my two PSP goes and then I modded them, which is absolutely fantastic. I've just given one away in a video as well, which is amazing. I think Tommy G was the winner for this. But yep, yeah, it's uh, not as heartbreaking or yeah as bad as what what you fear like i was literally thinking to myself oh i don't want to do it just in case i brick the system itself now what's good about it is the fact that you can play native psp games running full speed absolutely fantastic we've got a little bit of atari Lynx going on there you know we've got all the psp games then we've got capcom cps1 atari pc engine master system you know the list is endless N64, not the best on the PSP to be honest, not the best on the Vita either really, it's a shame because those systems should be able to do it without any problems whatsoever, CPS2. So yeah, it's really, really great, just not only to have what it was intended to do, which is uh, PSP, but just to have retro games on there as well, which is just really, really incredible. So I thought I'll take the plunge, I'll dive in and I'll mod my PS Vita to great shock and pure happiness and joy is the fact that I wish I had done it sooner to be honest you can pick a PS Vita slim up for about a hundred pound so really really cheap and if you do decide to get yourself one don't be afraid guys there's plenty of tutorials out there that do easy step-by-step -step guides in the way to getting it to where you want so I chose uh, to have a Mandalorian theme I'll go through what you can do with it as well which is really, really cool. Oh, little big planet. Marvel superhero installing. Great. Good timing. Come on. It kind of makes me want to put more on because the more pages that I create, the more pictures it gives me as Mandalorian, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, these are the games that I haven't put in bubbles yet, but I'll explain about bubbles at the moment. But yeah, this is the Mandalorian theme, which is pretty cool. And then if we go to themes, Themes and backgrounds, Mandalorian, I've got some Xenoblade, bit of uh, Best of Hentai, lovely, Cyberpunk theme which is really nice, there's thousands upon thousands of themes to choose from so you can personalise it to just how you want it. Which I just think is such a nice touch. So with themes, you go to Custom Theme Manager, which is an app that you get on there. <coughs> and it's just as simple as going into download a custom theme. If you go to the top left or top right buttons when you press it, it loads the next setting. So say for instance, if you wanted a bit of Marvel superhero, you just click on it, press X, wait till it loads in. It doesn't take too long, seconds. 
be patient. Once it's ready, you then press start to load it onto this PSV system. And then it will prompt you to say, press any button and return to the main menu. If I then come out of here, go to settings, back to theme. You'll see the theme there, select it, come back out. And then you'll have that theme. That's how easy it is, guys. And as I say, there is thousands upon thousands of themes, which is really nice. It really does make for an interesting menu option. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just jump into some of the things that I've got. So obviously, turn the music down just for the purposes of looking through the menu because it's annoying when you're trying to talk over something that's loud. One thing that really, really prompted me to do this, guys, is the fact of the PSP library, the PS Vita game library, and the PlayStation library. It took me quite a while to get all the games on there and so forth. So this is something that I really, really wanted because as you've known in previous videos, you'll see that I have over, I think 160 PS Vita games. So to swap them out with the card, you know, we used to love it and don't get me wrong, I love physical, but to have them all in one place and not actually swap them around is just such a joy. So if we just, as you can see these bubbles here, it's a bit harder to see on this screen. I should really change it over really. Bear with me a second, let me swap it over just so it's more easy to see. Let's go with Akira. Okay, so as you can see, there are bubbles, and in each bubble, there's about 10 games uh, on there. So if I just go into the first one, you'll see that I have, I own all these games, so it's pretty cool. So it is best that you always download backups of your games and not do it piracy, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So as you can see, it's just a simple case of putting them all into bubbles. Keeps all your PS Vita games nice and tidy for you to choose. And it is simply just a case of jumping in. Oh, two are missing there. I'll have to fill that. I say work in progress, guys, work in progress. Yep, so simple case of just choosing a game and starting one up. It's as simple as that. So if we go to maybe Freedom Wars, going to start and we're in. It is as simple as that, an absolute joy. And as you know, guys, the amount of amazing and fantastic PS Vita games is just unbelievable. Now, the beauty of this as well, guys, is there's an actual store, a bit like PSN store, but obviously you just download the games yourself, the games that you own, obviously. Yeah, so as you can see, straight into the game. And how you do that, is you go to PKG. So when you go into PKG, it gives you pretty much every single game for PS Vita games. I've got it set to uh, data size. So it starts off with the smallest data for the game, which is like 4.71 megabyte. And then if I press right, it will scroll really fast, taking it all the way up to 3.63. So the games where I have the dot are the games that I've installed. And obviously um, they don't take long to download and to, uh, to in install. But these are all the games that I own. 
but as you can see guys there are thousands and it's not just PS Vita games it is if you press triangle as you can see there's a list you can go to Asia Europe Japan even all the Japan titles there is patches available and DLC shown themes and then at the bottom right you will see PSX games show PSP games PSP DLCs and PSMs so you can look for yeah all these games here if you scroll right the way through you can choose so if I as an example I want some PSX games then there we go these are all now PSX games as you can see from the top and the menu Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Very, very easy, simple to do. But obviously you're only gonna get the games that you own and you're backing up because you just want to. But to have them all in one place is absolutely fantastic. So it really is really simple. No computer needed, no nothing needed. There is to set up the, um, in order to hack your PS Vita, but once it's done, then you'll, you'll never need to go back onto your PC again. All the tools are available. Here we have uh, Adrenaline Bubbles. So when we go into Adrenaline Bubbles, this is where you organize all the games that you've downloaded. It takes a while just to load all the games that you have on the system. And as you've seen, you can create the bubble, set the name, and then obviously put all the games in there and organize it. So these are the games that I haven't organized yet. So anything in white you will need to do and anything in green you have already done. Pretty cool. So yep, yeah, so there is my PS Vita library. Next I have my PSP library. So same again, once I go in, you'll see that I have all my PSP games that I own. All at my disposal, straight away, easy access. That in itself is just absolutely incredible. We have some uh, PS2 games as well. So we have uh, Grand Theft Auto 3, which is a PS2, but works fantastically well. Same with God of War. There is a clone for them as well. So these are the games that I haven't sorted out yet. Some more PSX games. I'm still in the process of doing stuff to it, guys. There's some more Vita games that I've put down there. Dragon's Crown, Persona 4, Jack and Dexter Trilogy, Gravity Rush, Criminal Girls 2, and Child of Lies. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll jump into some gameplay after I've gone through the last one I want to show you, which is emulators. We also have Homebrew for, obviously, games that people have made which is absolutely fantastic if you want to check them out and you're into that. Okay, so here we have three emulators. One is for Amiga. The other is for N64. So if I quickly just jump in, I will go through some games and emulation. We have a list. You can go to the top and you can change the options for emulation, graphics, audio, input. Really is a fantastic menu system for what you can change, high res, graphics and so forth. As you can see, I have the full list of games that I own. Lots and lots and lots. So we'll check that out a little bit later on. And then if we go back into emulators, then we have RetroArch. I found RetroArch on this to be a bit buggy. I don't know whether it's the version of uh, firmware version that I'm using. But the reasons why I chose 3.69, I think is the one I've chose, um, is because obviously your firmware determines what games are actually working on the system. So I know that somebody said in the comments that the firmware that they said, you know, everybody's saying that they go with maybe 6.5. But as I say, there's games that I want that won't run on the 6.5 version, simply the fact that it's they're just not compatible with that firmware. So that's why I chose the latest or the later build. Yeah, RetroArch is pretty much the same. Load core, 
you can do it individually. So you go to load cut. Then you would head to where you normally have your ROMs. If you list the ROMs, Atari, Lynx, Commodore, NES, Nintendo, Sega Game Gear, Master System. I did try um, Dreamcast, but Dreamcast is a no-go, guys. It's, yeah, that's the only sad part, really. But also, once you've done that, you can actually go back to, you can go search if you press triangle and search for a game, which is pretty cool. So as we go through the previous directories, if we go up to the top, you'll see that I have categories. So favorites, arcade, Hit and miss with arcades, some work incredibly well and some don't. I find the Chinese handhelds and Botticera Emulek and do a far better job, but still a good 75% work fine. So as I say, yeah, you've got it on your PS Vita. You can't really complain. Capcom CF1, CPS2, Capcom Classics. So I've put them into actual order of games, so Data East Classics. Konomi Classics. Namco, which we've got like all the Namco games. Neo, all Neo Geo games. Nintendo Classics, I've got Hacks in there as well, SNA, SNK. Taito Classics. Beat 'em ups, Fatal Fury, all the King of Fighters games, all Metal Slugs. So it's good that you can organise and, and set it up just how you like it, really. It is just absolute joy. It just makes it look so nice. The Street Fighters, Superhero Games, Atari 2600, 7800, Lynx, Wonder Swan. Commodore 64. There's all the hacks. Game and Watch. MSX2. PC Engine CD ROM. PC Engine. Turbo Graphics. Game Boy Advance. So I've been setting them all up like that, guys. I hope that you really like it and the layout. I'd love to know if this is something that you're going to do yourself. Are you going to back purchase yourself a nice PS Vita and then do a hack on it as well? Because it's I love tinkering, as you know, guys. And I wish I had done this earlier. Please don't be disheartened by it. You're not going to brick it. There's, I'm not going to show a tutorial because there is an infinite amount on the YouTubes that show you step by step it's so easy it's nowhere near as bad as what you think so let me just jump into an arcade game guys just to show you what it's like let's go with strider so i've chose to have bezels on the side because <clears throat> because of the screen layout and the four by three aspect ratio I didn't like the black gaps on the side, so I chose to have arcade borders on the side. And it just makes it look so much nicer and the presentation is better. Let's turn the volume up actually. And as you already know, the PS Vita screen is absolutely gorgeous. So these games at this resolution, they just look incredible, guys.
So to get back, you hold down, select and press down on the D-pad and it will take you straight back. You can either load instantly to another game, resume. I just go to close content and I'm straight back to the menu. So it's really, really nice. So I'll go through a few more games on this side and then I'll show you some native. I know some people wanted to see PSP games running on there. So I'll show some uh, PSP with the upscale of resolution as well. It just looks absolutely incredible, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get comfy. So just to let you guys know that I've ordered a PSP, uh, not PSP, a PS Vita Lite. <laughs> Pretty much like these two. And I will be modding it. And I will be doing a giveaway. I'll try and get it done for end of January, maybe beginning of February. And I say the possibilities are endless with this, guys. I've, I'm just in the process of jumping onto a few PS Vita forums. Because, as I say, <coughs> I'm new to the modding scene with the PS Vita. So there's probably lots more that you can do that I just simply don't know about yet. But as I get more accustomed to <coughs> the steps and obviously getting used to the modded version of the PS Vita, I will do a lot more intensive videos on that as well. So yeah, keep an eye out on the channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button, guys. Help the channel absolutely grow. As I say, in the next month or month and a bit, I will have a new PS Vita Slim. And then obviously I will mod it up and do, be doing a giveaway for it because I think that one of you guys should definitely deserve having one of these because they're just absolutely incredible. Incredible. Okay, let's jump into some more stuff. So let's come out of here. I think everybody really seen what you can do with RetroArch. It's pretty much the same. Let's just go into a Neo Geo game. Just so you guys can see what it's like. Let's go with a bit of King of Monsters. Doesn't matter how many times I clean these screens. Just shows that my place is dusty. Yeah, let me know guys what you think. Do you prefer it with the bezels or would you have it bezel-less? Have you ordered one a PS Vita yourself and you're waiting on one? And you can't wait to get into some emulation. Yep, so you'll have no problem with the lower end systems. They just run absolutely flawlessly. So let's come out of there and let's... Oh, Soul Sacrifice Delta. Great game. If nobody's played it, check it out. Okay, so let's jump into some... PlayStation 2 game, so we'll start off with Grand Theft Auto 3. And as you can see guys, you're not going to be Disappointed with the screen on the PS Vita, even the slim version just looks absolutely beautiful. 
Resolution is nice, crisp, sharp. Now my first playthrough of this, um, yeah, it was a little bit buggy in some places, but it still doesn't distract uh, from the gameplay. On the most part, it looks and plays fantastically well. As the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. Make sure you go and get yourself a nice cup of coffee or a cup of tea. And as you'd expect, the sound is really, really good using uh, stereo as well, which is just really, really nice. Come on! Yeah, overall, guys, I'm really pleased that I took the leap of faith. I strongly suggest for you guys to do the same. As you can see, it's running buttery smooth. But you will see bugs as we drive around town, but as I say, it's not too bad.
as you can see, plays great, looks great, love it. What a game. So let's jump into some God of War. Defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta. They knew solace from his past, and calling to battle. Another city is ready to fall. Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta.
As you can see guys, it's running incredibly well. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're gonna come out of there and then we're gonna go on to some PSP games and then call it a day. I'll do another video guys. Let me know if you wanna see more of the modded PS Vita. I will gladly do some more for you. Let's go with some Tekken 6. Yeah, but you're not gonna have any problems with PSP, PS Vita, or <clears throat> excuse me, um, or PlayStation One because they all run natively on here, guys. With a great little bit of upscale as well. Okay, so in the adrenaline uh, option, you have a chance to save state. You can change the graphics. You can, you know, have it times four resolution. You can change scan lines. You can change the orientation of the screen. It it really is just very nice options for PSP games. Really is cool. So you're not going to have any problems at all, guys. So let's jump into some. N64 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I hope that you've really, really enjoyed the video. Like this game is amazing. One of my favorite Mario Kart games. And I don't know if you can see, but it just absolutely looks amazing. As I say, like most emulation, it's hit and miss, but yeah, there's just something special about having it on a big screen with such refineness of sharpness with the detail as well. It's just something you don't get on the 3.5 inch of a Chinese handheld. I'm really impressed guys, really, really, really impressed. I say guys, please give the video a massive like if you like it. Please share, spread the word, spread the love of the channel. As I say, I've got one on order, so I will mod it up for a competition giveaway. I still have lots of handhelds coming, guys. Um, yeah, it's going to be an absolute craziness start to next year. I'm really excited for the way emulation is, but yeah, I thought I'd take the plunge in the PS Vita modern community and get myself in the mix in there, and I'm so glad that I did. Love to know what you think, guys, and I hope you've had a really nice Christmas. I hope you're going to have a fantastic New Year as well. Uh, love the bones of you. Well done for the competition winners. I'm really, really proud of you. I will get in contact with you over the next couple of days on how to send uh, and where to send the handhelds, as you can see, all in a little row, um, just so you guys will have something maybe for the new year. Absolutely incredible. Please check out my second channel. I will leave a link in the description, guys. Please, 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 please head over there. I think I've had about... 50 of you go over there wow absolutely incredible it just shows me who my loyal supporters are and who absolutely have my back on this channel yeah love the bones here thank you very much for everything if you want to see more of the ps vita let me know in the comments and i'll do that i'll also have a couple of uh, new videos on the channel second channel today as well guys but let me know in the comments uh, what type of games you wish to see on the second channel. Because obviously they're going to be a little bit more in depth. It's going to be longer actual gameplay of single games. So if there's any games you actually want to see running, yeah, let me know in the comments. And as always, take care.